stream on firm bus simulator we're back on today and we're going to be in the man something r62 as we're doing sort of more of a stopping service today uh, we're going to start from paris where we ended yesterday and you can obviously see from the front of the bus there we're going to be heading up to amsterdam so sort of within the pc dlc area so it should be quite nice uh, if i move the mic over to here there we go let's pop that over there Hopefully everyone's all well, hopefully the audio's all fine as well, which actually it might not be. Uh, we've got Dan, Charlie, Gregory, Sam, Ron, Laserjet, Patrick, Evan and Ronin. Let me quickly do that to turn on the audio. You're going to get a bit of a black screen quick. There we go, that should now be on. There we go. You're stuck in a traffic jam on the bus, so you decide to watch a stream about a bus. Fair enough, uh, uh, Alexi, fair enough. Um, right, let's get logged in. So you can see we've got quite a few stops and we have got a couple of parking um, times as well. Don't park yet, it, it doesn't work, don't park, um, so just skip the brake. Although you can do if you want, you could still stop, just don't turn off the engine. Right, let's uh, let's get in, we're starting from the uh, depot nice and early in the morning. Let's uh, let's get in. See, we're in this bus, reminds me of the Setra S417, just a tad. Um, so it's probably better used for stopping services I don't know, it just seems like more of a local bus really uh, let's get in uh, oh that field of view is horrible, let's uh, quickly change that as we are really far forward there you can actually go even further forward no, even further back than the bar yeah that looks better and you want to change that one so it looks up a little bit there you go, that should be alright. Um, that is much better. Possibly even a little bit further back, actually. No, we're probably alright. Um, let's get the engine on. Hello, Xavier. Next bus from 21 update. Well, I mean, it's ain't new, finally. So, I suppose it's a good thing. It's been quite some time. Uh, get the lights on. They can go off. Uh, we might as well get the aircon on now. Uh, the passengers like about 21 degrees. I think that is the sweet spot. So that's that to 21. Um, and all of this will just leave off for now. Uh, stop brake. We'll run that off as well. So it's a slightly different bus, this one, to the other ones. You haven't got any kitchen on here. No toilet. It's much more, I suppose, yeah, better used for like a, a less, more of a stopping service than a long distance, you know, all the way across Europe service. Um, so you can see the map today. We're, we're going quite far. We're going up to uh, up, up to Amsterdam, but plenty of stops for the passengers to get out, stretch their legs, go for a loo. Uh, so we've got plenty of uh, plenty of stops. But yeah, this bus probably wouldn't be suitable on like a really long distance, no stops, uh, like we were doing yesterday. It just seems like more of sort of just a stopper bus, really. What's it want me to do? Set the destination. So we could do that now. Uh, let's get all on now. Uh, what's that? Navigation monitor. Oh, is that for the... Maybe that's for the passengers to see where we are. It's quite cool. Let's go. So we're heading over to Paris. I think we have to do a spinny here, don't we? Yeah, we can come right round. There we go, and then out here. Hello, Greg. How are you? Xavier, how's everyone doing? We go left here. Um, well, that's not quite right. Why is there just a massive gap in the scenery there? It's not like that on the PC version. So I don't really know why it's like that on this version. Let's say I've had to water it down a little bit of the scenery. But still, that's not really great. So hopefully that gets sorted. Because Peter Paris doesn't look doesn't look fantastic on this one. You can see loading it. Uh, you can see things loading in quite late as well. So I do hope these issues are addressed. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Michael. How are you? Six kilometres to Paris uh, bus station. I mean, it says you just round the corner there. Obviously, it's not real scale. 
think that's the um, Scania touring bus there, which is, should be a DLC for at some point. Come on, go green. We'll do that at 7 o'clock. You find even following the speed limits and stuff on that traffic lights, you're always really early. Well, it's a long, it's a long distance coach, is it? A long distance route. So there usually there is quite a lot of, um, you know, leeway on the timetable. So you will, you will be early. But you can just skip time. Afternoon, Amanda. Does it? How are you welcome in? So, mm, that doesn't look fantastic, does it? Coming up to there. What is that sort of white light in there? So there are, there is bugs on here. But once there's any, you know, major, yeah, there's not like it doesn't crash or anything like that. But there are bugs. It's not completely clean of 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 bugs. I guess here, Moses. Yeah, we're going through Paris. Phantom Fever 2 will perform well. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's coming to old gen, is it? Or is it? I thought it was uh, next gen only for Transport Fever 2. Unless I'm mistaken, which could be the case. Here we are. This is uh, Paris. Let's uh, let's do that. Parking brake on. Uh, although there's a stop brake on here. Uh, but we'll just keep it off. We'll get it on. Um... Lower the bus. Open the doors. You just have to drive to them, William. Yeah, once you once you've driven to them and stopped at them, you'll then unlock it. Uh, that's all good. Let's get the passengers checked in. Do we even have a luggage compartment on this uh, bus? Oh, we do. There we go. I can't, we can't use that one, but we can do that one. Uh, any more? Next journey. Okay. Oh, we can. Oh, I suppose we can open them up as well. Get some more bags in there. Right, let's get people checked in. Hello, sir. Scott, are you getting on? You are. You're going to Lille. How do you turn the radio on? I think it's on automatically, Dazza. Um, where is it on this one? As yesterday we were driving, and then Flashbase FM, it said on the radio, was on by default. Um, obviously, I've got it off because copyright. But I think it just comes on by default. I could be wrong though. Uh, Cosima, you're getting on. Uh, the express check-in. Can I do express check-in? Oh, you can. Ah, oh. oh, cool. You can do express check-in. Uh, Iliana, you are getting on. You? Yeah, uh, we're not going there. Uh, nope. Sorry, you're not getting on. Oh, there is no radio, is there? Oh, okay. Well, you can sort of see it on, but it doesn't actually it's not on express check-in uh, you're going to Vienne we're not going to Vienne are we no we don't go there I don't think we go there <laughs> it could be wrong Lille, Ghent, Antwerp, Rotterdam, Amsterdam no we don't go there uh, Janne uh, yeah you're getting on so be two more people oh, apparently there's not that as uh, what early said um, we don't go there either. So, Gelsenbrücken. No, sorry, mate, you're not getting on. Uh, Julian, do you get on? You are not getting on. Um, Amsterdam, yeah, you're getting on. Express check in. There we go. Uh, Bruno, you are the last person, I think. Um, yeah, that's everyone. Let's get the uh, get these shut. Get them uh, closed down. There we go. <laughs> awesome, Dazza. The map's massive, though, isn't it? It takes so long to get to places, which is great. Uh, and we're due out of here now, so that's that's good timing. Uh, let's start ride. Uh, we we'll get the doors shut. 
and we'll play the announcement. You've got to play the announcement really before you leave. Let's have a look at that guy. Let's have a little look at the bus whilst we're waiting. Yeah, it's just quite quiet. What's that passenger monitor? Is that in here somewhere? Where's the passenger monitor? So we should have the lights on, but it doesn't look like they're on. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's supposed to be on. Oh, no, there is the light on. It's just very dim. Oh. Yeah, they are. It's very weird looking. Cool. So we'll let the announcement play. <laughs> no, it's it's so it's the best place in the game, it actually probably is Germany. Because it's the most um, dense in some of these cities, isn't it? As on the DLCs, there isn't as many. So also in it, John. <laughs> oh yes, Lexi. I suppose we could leave. But you are really supposed to wait for the announcement to finish. Yeah, let's leave. Uh, let's get the... That's on. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, we'll get that off in a sec. Uh, mine's called Blends. Nice city, sort of in the middle. Hello, uh, that I saw. You don't get AI bosses coming in here, so. Hello, 13, how are you? So yeah, you should play the announcement um, before you leave. Oh yeah, we hadn't knelt, we hadn't knelt the bus up, which is gone up. What route is this? This is one to Amsterdam. Yeah, remember to lean the bus up. I always, or lift the bus up, I always forget to do that. Well, it does do it automatically there. Simply download our app onto yeah. your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply Lil visit Xbox.com or get in touch This is the longest gap, and once we get to Lille, they're all fairly course, close to one another. We're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give okay. us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions. That's weird, uh, Dan. Take a look at your AI lists. Have you been playing with the AI lists, maybe? I said, if not, just look at West Country free AI lists and then pop that back in. Lovely. Guten Tag, Senseless. I uh, got the game yesterday. It took 10 minutes to download an AI or a nightmare. Uh, yeah, at times, Tom. At, at times. That's really realistic, isn't it? People being slow and doing funny things. I just can't wait until the VDL bus pack. I think that bus ahead you can see, that's uh, the VDL bus pack one. Um, which isn't out just yet. Uh, we should be getting keys for it so we can show it off when it does come out. But yeah, the VDL and the Scania Touring. So that'll be cool. But they're not out just yet. I'll see you, Dan. Uh, if you haven't got AI on there, not too sure. Yeah, not sure. FedEx, oh, you got Maddox, uh, Maddox instead. Hello, CJ. Sometimes you can't check in passengers, you just leave them. <laughs> Fair enough. Although, is that after you've taken a break? Like, have you taken a pit stop before you've then got to that stop and then you can't check them in? Because that's a bug at the moment. Oh, I want to get through that. I'm getting through that light. There we go. It was yellow. Come into that lane. Series S might have a slight issue, Tom. Uh, remember on the PS5 and in some areas, the FPS can drop a little bit. So I would imagine on Series S, probably a little bit more. I suppose it might just be in patches, though, might it? Now Paris is a really cool place to drive around in the game. As you can go up to the Arc de Triomphe. 
and there's actually a stop up there as well. Like a, there's actually a little bus station up there. It's quite cool. I recommend it. Well, this doesn't look right, does it? We've got a building in the middle of the road. <laughs> this is. Uh... I mean, I said there wasn't no game-changing bugs, but. Um... We've got a building in the middle of a road. Which I'm sort of tempted to see if we can drive through it, but then I don't want to just in case we can't. Well, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? That's the first sort of proper thing we've had where it it just... Why is there a building in the middle of the road? Look at the AI just going for it. Oh, no, someone's just come behind. Uh-oh. We'll do a U-turn. Well, this is weird. Well, okay, there is there is a there is a big issue there. I don't know why. And same with when we came out the depot, there was no scenery. That is bizarre. Well, I suppose we'll turn around and hopefully there's scenery the other way. <laughs> Otherwise, um, uh, well, yeah, well, let's just hope there is some scenery this way. We'll, we'll, we'll go this way instead. Yeah, follow the sat nav, you say. But no, the sat nav's like, uh uh. Right, what way was it actually trying to take us then? Was it trying to take us off the map or something? No, that's trying to take you onto the uh, motorway. Well, we'll go this way. We'll just avoid the. Um... <laughs> it's a barricade built during another strike in Paris. Could be. What's this coming up here? Is that a bridge? I think that's a bridge. So just uh, don't go through the. Um... The east side of Paris, you ain't getting in all out. You can't try it through. That's really weird. Well, that's probably the, that's the first proper scenery issue we've had. How much storage do I have on my PC? I've got like two terabytes on my uh, hard drive and I think 500 gig on my SSD. Well, the SSD, most of the games I don't have on it, but I don't know what's taking up all the room. See, John. That's annoying. Well, I'm hoping there will be fixes out fairly quickly for the game. Hello, Thomas. No, that's alright then. Dave. I think that I think there is a day one. Oh, I think the day one patch did actually release for Xbox, but it hasn't yet for PlayStation. Hello, Thomas. So you didn't hear a message, did you? Fair enough, Dan. I definitely think it is in a better state than what Tourist Bus was in when that came out. I mean, it's got wheel support. That's that's one of the uh, positives. But yeah, that's the first big thing we've had where I've been a bit like, hmm. Probably Dan, probably. Yeah, that's, that is a bit unfortunate. And especially when we came out of the depot as well, and there was no scenery on the... It's almost like, I suppose it's almost like a whole tile of scenery just hasn't... isn't in the game. And uh, that's no, not well. Well, there's there's certain things you can do. Um, hope that doesn't roll forward. Like you know, you can do the door there, do the door here, um, but nothing else. Which would have been nice if they could have somehow implemented that. Uh, yeah, like on bus and eighteen, bus and twenty one, where you can zoom in and click the controls. Uh, but now you get the um, the toolbar here, which you have to use. So the same as tourist bus. In terms of uh, sort of functionality and buttons. Please be scenery this way. Yes, that looks better. You did send a message. Well, I can see you're good. Yes. Little tip that you found out yesterday if you put it in D5 instead of D1, as nom you get speed a lot quicker. Nice little tip, I suppose. Sometimes you have to literally hit the barrier for it to open. There we go. Right, we're on to the motorway. Uh, let's get a bit of speed on us and let's head up towards Lille, which is our largest gap between stops. 
And then after that, they're all really close to one another. There we go. A little straight ahead. And things like that. You see that building ahead there? It's still really low res. But it's sort of all blurry and blobby. There you go. You see that? It's fine. That shouldn't be like that. In certain places, it can be a bit funny. There's no need to spam, Thomas. Otherwise, you get yourself timed out. Oh, lovely, Amanda. And off we go. I just hope they can get some fixes fairly quickly onto the um, console. You're so happy. Lovely. Well, that's good then. Uh, we've got two streams tonight. We've got this, and then we've got some train sim world. Which will probably be on everybody's favourite route, the North East Corridor, New York Trenton. And yes, we are doing it again. But it's still new and shiny, and it's good fun. Uh, the game is a bit muffled, is the way to fix that. What, my game audio? Or just in general? Uh, you can turn, it depends really what, yeah, if something's too noisy, you can turn down the engine. The, there's certain audios you can turn down, sort of separately. So I've never been this way on the game. I've done Paris to Reims and Paris going south, but I've never been out towards Lille. Um, as on PC, I didn't have the... Uh, Belgium or Netherlands. Oh, I've just seen a coach be flipped into the air in, in the mirror. Yeah, I didn't have uh, Belgium or uh, oh yes, Flummery. Uh, I didn't have the DLCs. Not really a big fan of this bus, but I thought we'd uh, we'd give it a bash. Probably quite naughty being in this lane. Can we just get past these lot here? In fact, this is actually really naughty being in this lane. Hello, Oscar. I'm alright. Hopefully, you're all well. Yeah, slightly drunk driving. Let's try to be less drunk now. Ah, it's got to be sweet, Oscar. You've got to prefer sweet stuff, surely. Uh, hello, Southern Rex. Oh, the new enhanced uh, account of better. Uh, what? Oh, hello. It's £19.99 for the new weather pack on there. I was tempted to get a bit, but it's £19.99. I don't know. No, I don't know. I said, I was we were very tempted to get the um, the new um, weather enhancement pack. But for £19.99, I don't know. I might not bother. But we'll see. That's quite a bit though, isn't it, for a uh, weather EP. It does look nice, but for £19.99. The road noise is a bit muffled and the announcements sound like a TV speak from the 80s. And when I take a break, when I check the passengers, it wouldn't let me confirm. Don't take a break, Tom. That's bugged at the moment. Which is annoying, but I suppose, you know, we've got to wait. We've got to wait for some updates to come out and patch. That's 24, wow. Yeah, I don't think I'll bother with that then. I got the Signal EP, but that was 14.99, so that was that was alright. But for £19.99, I could get a whole, you know, Omsi Renown. So just have some new weather. Nah. I'm sure it's a good day. Again, yeah, no mooning out the back, Oscar. This time, same for you, Joseph. And you can get random police checks on this game as well. And obviously, if you fail the police uh, police check, I guess you probably lose a lot of XP. So don't fail the police check. It just means you need to take breaks. Which at the moment you can't really take breaks because the game won't really let you check in the passengers again. So uh, yeah, you're sort of walking on a tightrope. Risking it for a biscuit. Two new DLCs in for Trains and World. They are. Have they literally just released an article. I bet they have as well. Oh no. Okay, good. Oh, there's the AP pack. 
That's quite a bit though, isn't it? I'll fully load that up. Oh, I'm on the computer whilst driving. That is that is not twenty four ninety nine. Good God. Now I'll leave that for now. Hello Pearson, have you or anyone else had the giant combine? I've seen that Pearson, yeah. Uh, you say that. Someone in the TML Discord posted the clip of the <laughs> massive uh, harvester going across the uh, the road. I haven't had it myself. I, I want to see it though, I want to see it. Sounds fun. <laughs> then did a wheelie and disappeared. Sounds fantastic. I'll see those gentlemen will be an article soon then. Uh, yeah, this is the Intercity R62. Doesn't really seem like an intercity bus, really. I don't really like this bus. It feels just more like a sort of, um, you know, like a step up commuter bus. Yeah, so I'm not really a fan of this bus, but I thought we'd come in it. Got to, got to give it a go. Give it a bit of show time. Why are we all slowing up? What's going on? Someone crashed. Probably get a drink once maybe we get to uh, Ghent or Gent, however you say it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Tourist bus, you just feel trapped. Yeah, the maps. Well, the maps okay, um, but it's only about thirty minutes one side to the other, isn't it? So yeah, on, on Tourist bus you feel quite trapped, but whereas on here, the map is humongous so you don't really feel trapped on this one that's why I never really bothered with the um, bus packs on tourist bus the um, Scania touring and the video bus pack on there because there were big buses which just wouldn't really fit onto the tourist bus roads really that well so I never bothered with them on there, on there. so it's nice to have this on I don't see Oscar. 137 kilometres to Lille. Just leaving a gap between uh, me and the DHL driver. That's probably what it's supposed to be, DHL. So if he brake checks me, I don't want to go to the back of him. Do you have to create your own routes in the game? Yes. Although saying that, I ranked up, so now we can actually we can go uh, to the full map now. I think once you get to about level 4, the whole map unlocks. Uh, so we've got that now. Um, it said I unlocked Flix bus routes. But then I couldn't find the actual... Uh, what, what, what is that? The Flix bus routes. Are they the real routes you can drive? Fair enough, <laughs> Tom. Am I looking forward to transport fever too? Oh my god, what is going on there? Why is someone just cut in front of a lorry in the middle lane? Um, yeah, it's going to be good, Duckington. Uh, we should be getting a key for it as well. Um, so we'll be showing that off. Hopefully start a series on that. Which was City Skylines next gen. I, I was actually looking forward to starting a series on that. Then apparently, if you want 25 tiles, you have to enable it as a cheat. And you don't get trophies. So I've sort of I've gone off City Skylines. Just for the fact you have to... Um, it's a cheat to get 25 tiles, which doesn't really make much sense, but not too happy with that. Yeah, Transport Fever 2, looking forward to that. Not too short, Tom. They're just big, big vehicles, aren't they? And one other thing which is missing from this is um, Arctic, some big lorries. Um, on the PC version, quite often on the motorway, this year, all the time on the motorway, you'd see big tanker trucks, big Arctics, um, but on here, you don't. So I don't know if that's an issue. Um, I'm sort of hoping it is, and it can hopefully then be changed. Um, yeah. I'm sure there'll be some fixes to this. I just hope the fixes come sooner than what tourist bus. As on there, the fixes take forever. Hello, uh, Ronoy, how are you? Ola, come on, stats. No, that's Portuguese. I know Ola's hello in Portuguese. How are you doing, Ronay? 
They should have just updated the original version so they're making a remastered City Skylines. Fair enough, but then last gen consoles would then have been able to get access to it, which obviously wasn't really the uh, reason for it. Arctic, uh, did I say Arctic buses? Arctic lorries. Big Arctic. The big, big lorries. <laughs> Does this bus have tons? Probably. Probably weighs a ton or so. Yeah, hopefully they get added piercing. But I know on Xbox, I think there is an update out, just no update on PlayStation yet. So hopefully that will fix a few of the um, smaller bugs. Double trade, that'll be cool. That's good then. I'm just going to sit behind our colleague here, who I think is in the Scania Touring um, coach. Which is will be DLC at some point. But it shows up as AI in the game. It's hand in the trailer. Uh, sort of uh, veering into the slow lane there. What's that all about? Oh, then a ton, surely, probably. 86 kilometres. It's almost there, actually. I mean, within the next 40, we'll be turning off. So it goes quite quick. Well, they're saying that it has been half an hour already, so. Just goes really quick on it. What's everyone's favourite bus to drive? And has anyone been able to drive the BB buses yet? So I'm guessing the BB40 would be one. God, imagine driving that from one side of Europe to the other. Ugh. Um, yeah, has anyone been able to use the BB buses? Because I think that might be a bug the way you can't select them. Lovely SNCF, congrats. <laughs> Lovely, long we go. I'll probably I'll get a drink at some point in a bit. I had a whole chocolate orange before this for lunch. Probably not the best idea, but it always makes you thirsty. So I'll get a nice drink. Uh, I think once we get to Ghent, I'll get one. Oh, and I wonder if Lille will have a proper bus station. So I think some of the um, smaller sort of cities in the game, they sort of just have a generic bus stop. Um, so I wonder if Lille will have like a proper bus station. Oh, only a shuttle. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, going back to what I was saying, you can drive BB, but it is shuttle. Just be from Frankfurt Airport to Frankfurt. Yeah, that makes sense. I have to have a look at that. Uh, there wasn't a firm bus video this morning, um, because last night I didn't record any videos. Uh, but I will do two tonight, so tomorrow will, there will be a firm bus video. How many degrees is the steer? I can't remember what my one is. Uh, it goes right the way around. Oh, I can't remember my one. Oh, for, for my will. It's the Fastmaster T150. Oh, that will tell you. No, it doesn't go completely the way around. I think it's about 240 or so. I can't remember. How much is this? 34.99. Right, I'm going to come into the slow lens. We'll be turning off soon. There we go. Was there actually a scheduled break on this bit? No. 51 kilometres. Oh, I see this, and so that's cool then. So we got a train station. Nice. Hello, James. How are you? Check those mirrors. You paid thirty one ninety nine on the Xbox. Lovely. Thanks all, we've got 62 people in, so thanks for uh, coming in. How's everyone getting on with Firm Bus so far? Well, yeah, we have come across probably quite a few of the bugs now. I do want to see the harvester bug, though, where the combine harvester goes across the road. I want, I want to see that one. Um, see, there are a few bugs. It's not... 
Oh my god, he's brake checking me or something. Jesus, in the middle of the motorway. As I was reading the chat. Um, yeah, there is the, there's a few bugs. So don't, you know, I'm, it's not perfect at the moment. But hopefully it will bring out some patches soon. I just hope it's not like tourist bus where the update takes months to come out. So that's not really fair, I suppose. A little, a thousand meters. And I should also say big thanks to Aerosol for giving us a key to show it off. But we're not going to sugarcoat it and say it's fantastic, it's, it's bug free. There are issues with it. Hello CGD, how are you? 30 kilometers. As yeah, we come into Lille. We've never been here before on firm bus, so it'll be cool to see what it's like. Oh, and also, apparently, at some point, also, when they get... I saw it on their Discord server. You just look up TML Discord server. They've got a Discord server. Um, and someone asked why you can't um, bind your steering wheel keys on console and then said firm bus. No, uh, bus sim F1. You can sort of um, uh, choose what keys do which. Apparently, they don't have access to, like, the official tools yet. Uh, so I suppose when they do, then, then we'll see that. We've got to come back out the same way. Lovely. That's our first stop though. Updates are coming according to Fabian. A lot of bugs already discovered and fixed and ready to go in patches. Well, let's hope that does deliver. You think it's better if you don't use dynamic weather? Yeah, we did have an issue of the rain where it started raining and there was clouds so it was like oh, okay this is fine but then there was no clouds it was completely clear sky and it was raining so we did have that issue um, while well, we have that I think that's what's on the last stream we did console version DLCs, they should be the same as the PC version, one of these is the Setra S531 DT top class, oh awesome there we go oh going through the streets of Lille I wonder if they do like um, sort of updates. I mean, if you look at the map at the moment, I know this is these bits of DLC, but this is the base map here, or at least the X base map for the German one. There's tons and tons and tons of little cities and little towns. But then you sort of look at the DLCs or X DLCs for PC, and there's like massive gaps. There's sort of well places. Well, there's no places, hardly any places as opposed to the base map. So I wonder if in the future they'll sort of add more sort of cities to it and more towns as little updates. That'll be cool. Casino tours Euro Lil. I think that's probably where we're going. Oh, that was yellow. That was yellow. Whereabouts are we going actually? Oh there we go, there's the uh um TGV station or SNCF station. Oh, we wait. One thing you've noticed while playing firm bus, it does give uh, of unhealthy amounts of on the road vibes just better. Well, there's slightly more um, variation with the scenery on here. You know, on the motorway, you actually see, I suppose, a bit more variety than what you did on, on the road, where it just all looks the same. It is, that's you in there. Right, well, where are we going? We're going right down here. Cool. And we went. 
Okay, we are off. Right, where on we go. There we go. Hello, Indigo, how are you? other countries added maybe in future I don't know if all focus is now on the bus not sure not sure what TML's plans are for firm bus I'm guessing tourist bus is probably completely done now but fair enough uh, yeah, a little bit Oscar a little bit <laughs> hello John how are you welcome in well nice to have you in Very reflective signs as well. Very reflective. We're going in here. And the hand down under the LC. That says dream on. That would be that would be cool though. Right, we're going in here. Twenty-three places. Oh, look at this fancy, we got our little uh, Little gated area just for us. Well, and I don't know, it's for us. Yes, I'm, um, Anthony, yeah. Although we did that yesterday, then completely went the wrong way. Which, um, wasn't great. That'll do, right. Now, uh, when the streamer gets from Paris a little faster than me from Warsaw neighbourhood to another. <laughs> uh, let's get that off for now. Oh, I'm just supposed to be sit here. Uh, oh, what? hang on. I'll kneel that down. Now we'll do that. Right, let's. Um, I'll just turn the engine off. It's a little bit quieter out here. Don't get their bags off. Is anyone getting on? Hey, it's really dark there. Yeah, I'm a dovetail ambassador census. Right. Uh, let's see. Who's that? Express check in. Um, again, we go again. Kim, yeah, you're getting on. Let's do an express check in. Uh, Daniel Vigil. And yeah, hopefully, that video, sh little short I did yesterday, helped for uh, people wanting to know how to create routes on the game. And that was quite basic, but hopefully, it did help. It's starting to rain the first. See, yeah, this is a bit weird because uh, it's, it's clear skies, but it's raining. I mean, it's, it's clear. You know what? I'm gonna turn that off for now. Uh, let's just do sunny. There. Uh, let's get that shut. There's no lock on this one. Right. So let's see. We we're due here at 10:08, and the time is 9:51. So we're a little bit early now. If we weren't streaming, I'd probably just wait. Um, but we'll get to again, and then I'll then go and get a drink because that's about halfway. Uh, so let's um let's skip skip time. Uh there we go, skip time. And then we shall then leave. Um get them shut. Oh we've got to play the announcement as well. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flipsburg. You should do that. Um, wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel anschauen. Yeah. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, Fair enough, Rob. hier ein paar Hinweise. Right. Yes, you should play that announcement whilst you're sitting here. But we want to get going. Oh, let's go. Um, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's go. There's no toilet. There's no toilet on this bus, mate. Oh, we've got to lean it up as well. Or lift it up again. But it did it by itself. I need to do that. Right, it's Ghent next, which I think is in Belgium. Right, let's go. Um, 
ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mehr besuchen wollt, holt euch einfach ein ja, ja. und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. We are on our way. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt, nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir das behind us as well. zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. Shout out to get now. We'd like to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Okay. Before we set off, we would like to share some information. Uh, should be, can you, yeah. The wearing of seatbelts is compulsory on board. Oh yes, so, yeah. Therefore, I wonder what the Gint, but I reckon Gint's gonna have like, just like a little, um, little generic bus stop. Apparently it's not in the game with staff. It says it's there, but it's not actually linked, so it doesn't actually come on. That might just be one of those PC things. Possibly. A bit, I suppose a bit like on um, Tourist Bus where you could see the announcement um, on the toolbar but you couldn't use it. Maybe something similar to that. It's sort of just because it's been ported over. It just shows even though it's not actually in. Oh, I want to get through that. Oh, it's yellow. There you go. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Hello Ricky, I'm alright, how are you? By email to give us feedback about your journey. So back we, we go. Also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. We are always ready to assist. It's very nice. And now we can find We've already set off. <laughs> a little bit cheeky. Listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. There you go. Is this again or Jen, how do you say it? Or Jehen. In our uh, R62. Not really a big fan of this bus, but I thought we'd, we'd, we'd give it some show time. And yeah, this is route number 5. Well, that's probably what I'll do is I'll probably do a 5X, which goes Paris, Rotterdam, Amsterdam, sort of skips out these little stops, which I'll set as an express route. Uh, we'll be on the shorts run. As I saw a comment quite late last night saying, oh, could we have a little quick tutorial? And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll put one together if I do as it's a short. So it's, it's, uh, we'll be on the shorts area run. I recommend a big a big screen to watch it on because it's like a little skinny one. Otherwise. I don't smack, talk smack on the best bus. Well, it's not the best. The best bus is the Neopan Skyliner. That thing is fantastic. Because it's the double decker. Everyone loves the double decker. Hello, Dean. Is the game any good on Xbox? We are playing on PlayStation. Uh, although I'd imagine on Series X it should look, well, same as this. But I'm sure some people in the chat will uh, be able to answer your question there about Xbox. Ninety-nine kilometers. So you've got slightly shorter gaps now between stops. Paris to Lille was sort of the big one, the big boy of the uh, lengths. Hey, two pound from Tom sent a pic on Twitter. House in your road. Oh, house in the road. Sounds good, Tom. I shall have a look after this if you ping me. You think the BB's better? Fair enough. Is that sarcastic or? <laughs> I think I want to go there on the um, shuttle, the little BB. Is it just the BB40? if you would even have a seatbelt on on these um, coaches. I think you do actually. That says like you must have your seatbelts on, I think. Weird, isn't it? Because on coaches you have to have seatbelts, whereas on buses you don't. 
I suppose these go on the motorway, don't they? So. Nice one. Well, hopefully it did help out. It was yeah, quite basic. Right, off again already. Don't know if that's how you say it, but. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, since, yeah. Going running okay on Xbox. Does the net? Tons of little road signs. Yeah, we're heading. Our final destination is Amsterdam. So we're passing three countries: France, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Well, I said that. Do we pass? No, we don't pass into Germany. I don't think. Or do we? Do we pass into Germany? No, we don't pass into Germany. I thought we might come a little bit this side, but no, we don't. Well, a really nice one to do if it's, if, if, if it's your first time loading up the game. Set your um, headquarters in Koblenz. Lovely little place, and they do Koblenz to Frankfurt Airport. Very nice run to sort of get you stuck into the game. No, that's, that's a good point, Kenny. Yeah, this one doesn't, does it? Is it out there, maybe? No, no there is no sat nav. That's very true. <laughs> and it has a, you get to go to Scotland. No, the UK isn't in the game. Maybe in future. You can see it there. And I suppose Scotland's cut out a little. No, you can see the very top. You can see the bottom of Scotland there. Uh, but no, England, Wales, and whatnot aren't in the game yet. Hopefully, in future, though, we'll see the UK added. So maybe they could do like a UK and Ireland pack. How you doing, Dazza? Hello, Sumaka. How are you? There's a house in the middle of the road in Paris. Uh, yeah, we came across that. Yeah, that was uh, interesting. Oh, that's oh, that's oh, that was nice, was it? What's going on there? That sort of map loaded in as we were just getting there. That's not really right. Hello, Chris. That's how I let you off. It did do a point, but I was sure I'll run into issues such as starting the route and using the computer and then stopping it. Well, if you've got any questions, Ron, feel free to... Oh, that we didn't do start ride, did we? I always forget to do start ride. Every time you leave a stop, you should go onto the little computer here, a little phone, and uh, click start ride. I always forget. No biggie, I suppose. I suppose you probably miss out on a little bit of XP. 47 kilometres, so we should be pulling into it fairly shortly. Um, as the scale on this game, once you're at sort of about 30 kilometres, you're literally there, or at least coming in. Turns out bigger of a place it is. I reckon. I, re I reckon this stop's going to have just a little bus stop, and that's it. If it has a bus station, I'd be surprised. I had no idea. Uh, Wsty. I think it was a little bit dark, no idea. And the sun's up there, isn't it? So it should really be coming down. Good point, not too sure why. You've never checked into HQ. Yeah, so I'm going to pull into the uh, slow lane again, just to get in front of our colleague there. Colleague Craig driving his uh, bus along. You keep pressing the buses onto the curves. Old Irish. Audio issue on Xbox. Oh dear. And then we go. Oh, we got a bit of a uh, maze here. Where are we going? This way. <laughs> Blocking the side, is it? Oh, lovely. Here, uh, Irish. <laughs> it has a compliment. Yeah, I reckon it's gonna be a little bus stop. Hello, Lord Fader. I'm all right. How are you? Okay, we're going this way. Are we? Yes. Now I think this is quite a maze, isn't it? It's like Spaghetti Junction. We've got like in one big circle, it seems. 
quite a cool junction. Oh, we're going this way now. Oh, we're going up here. All right, up here we go. There we go. Yeah, someone mentioned that Enigma. Uh, someone else. Yeah, I think it was Tom who said it sort of sounded all muffled and weird. Hopefully things can be sorted fairly quickly. I wouldn't want it to be like tourist bus where the fixes just take months to release. Yeah, it's, I suppose, yeah, Euro truck, but in coaches. Right, this is Ghent we're coming into. Or Gen, I know how you say it. And so we're doing a big turnaround as well. Right, so we're going left here. Uh, oh, this is uh, yellow. Yeah, around here. Yeah, there we go. You need to take a break. We're almost at the stop. Don't take breaks on the game at the moment. Because once you check in all of the passengers, it won't let you confirm it. So don't take a break. It's a bit risky, because if you get a police check, you'll probably fail it. But there's not really a lot you can do about that at the moment. Unless once you've checked the passengers, you load out of the game and go back in, then it sorts it, but not really ideal. Oh, that's it, Oscar. <laughs> Lovely man. Would I recommend it on PC? Well, on PC you don't get all oh, the bus. Oh, there's a bus lane now. I like bus lanes. I'm guessing we can go in it. It's telling me to go in it. Um, on PC you don't get all of the um, DLCs. Whereas on the console version you get all of the map expansions as is part of the base game, which is nice. Oh, this is just quite nice through here. I like it. They got a little bus only area. Very nice. Really nice little city centre here. Or town centre. All for buses as well. Great. Oh, it's a railway station, I think. Is it a railway station? Well, there actually is a bus station here. Lovely. <laughs> We're going. That's it. This is actually really nice, this bit here. Around we go. Oh, where's the stop? Right around. Oh, there it. Oh, this is really nice. I did not expect this for here. I thought it was simply just going to be a little bus stop, and that was it. Wow, this is nice. I'll try and tuck into here now. Should be able to do. Should be a bit of an overhang at the front. So we'll straighten that up a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. Just about. Well, this is nice. Proper sort of bus station here. Uh, yeah, we'll be playing that one that comes out. Don't worry, Duffles. Right, I'm going to get the engine off. Oh, it's really noisy outside, and you won't be able to hear me. Let's do that. Uh, that's on. Uh, do the doors. Oh, it's fine, Oscar. <laughs> oh, lovely uh, munchies. Here we are. Welcome to Ghent. It's actually a really nice uh, looking uh, bus um, area. Look at this. Was not expecting that. I thought this was going to be a simple little bus stop. Right. Get that open. Awesome uh, laser jet. It's a nice little journey then, ish. Mm, a little bit crazy, but it's not too bad. Right, Rotterdam. That is Mike. Yeah, you're getting on. Uh, lots of ladies getting on. Uh, Finger, you're getting on as well. Um, uh, hello, Antwerp, yeah, uh, yes, uh, we got Celine getting on, I suppose it just said three people, and that said five people are getting on, uh, and Valentino, yes, there we go, that's everyone, uh, when are we due here, we were due here at 12.15, so we're 45 minutes early, well, yeah, you could just wait, um, but no, we'll, we'll start ride. We'll actually, we remember to do it this time. Start ride. That's my controller doing that, making me go up. Actually, no, what we'll do, we'll speed up time and then we'll do it. 
I don't know, would they leave early in real life if no one else was getting on? So it's probably not. No give that. Is anyone else here to get on? No. Right, start ride. There we go. Right, um, so yeah, we've got to do it for Lil, that's why it's not greyed out. Antwerp's next, uh, which shouldn't be too far. Let's get back in. Oh, there we go. Uh, get that shut. Was the luggage shut? No, of course it wasn't. Quickly close that. So that's taken us an hour to get from Paris, just there, to here. So that's about halfway ish. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, T 150. We've got. Right, the bus is now up, and I think we're probably all good to go. Get the parking brake off. Oh, sit back down. Right, let's go. There. Uh, set that to drive. Yeah, not just yes, uh, Oscar. Oh, oh god. I will though, um, maybe at the next one. I'm alright for now though. Right, back we go. Uh, through here. Yeah, control will probably die soon. That was a really nice little bus stop there, or quite a, not a little bus stop, that was one of the biggest ones we've been to so far. It's quite a cool little system though, it's literally just a bus only roundabout. Which I'd imagine is based off the real design, so that's, that's cool. Oh, leaving that behind. That was really cool that was. There we go, 97 kilometres, so not far. <laughs> I know uh, SNCF. Who would have thought? 30, 30 year? What's that all about? Very slow. Yeah, onwards to Antwerp, which I think is in... The Netherlands. No, Antwerp? Is that south? No. Or is it? Let's have a look. Was that still uh, Belgium? Oh, it is still Belgium. What's our fuel like as well? I feel we got about half a tank. We're all good for now. Let's take real time to do the routes. Uh, no, it should be 16. I think it's a 1 in 16, the map. So it should take 16 times... Well, I suppose... Uh, shorter than in real life. So it's taken us one hour to go. Hang on, no, that wouldn't be right, would it? It would take 16 hours to go from Paris up to up to here. No way. But it works out somehow. Uh, what what Kreza? An end pattern update. What's that? As we wait, right onwards towards uh, we're not going to Brussels but Antwerp. We're off. NP Belgium with uh, cheap fuel, only three hours by train. Bad then. Is there an update? Not yet. Well, I think there has been for Xbox, but I don't think PlayStation. Right, back over the, uh, or back through the spaghetti junction. Go then. So it's actually a maze. 
at ECW, is it worth it? Well, if you're look, if you're saying you really want to get it, um, then yeah, probably. If you're looking at this thinking, oh, I don't know if I should get it or not, then it's probably not worth it for you. That's why I sort of say it. If you if you're watching it and thinking, wow, this looks fantastic, I should get it. I think it does get it, but if you're not, then don't get it. Swiss junctions can be worse. BTC is good, yeah. Apart from spaghetti junction. Right, so it won't be long. We'll be turning off again for Antwerp. <laughs> Not a fan of spaghetti junction, eh? Yeah, quite a lot of the good uh, console get of PC games are now coming over to console, aren't they? Firm bus, uh, tourist bus, bus sim, train sim world, flight sim, farm sim. Well, farm sim's been on console. I think farm sim actually began on console, then it went to PC, I believe. Um, so yeah, quite a lot of the uh, big games are now coming over to console, which is great. Especially with um, current gen, which is powerful enough to run them. I mean, at some point, eventually, I suppose the only games we'll be playing on PC will be uh, OMSI and Train Sim Classic. Yeah, TML and Dovetail are my favourite um, developers. See, TML used to do World of Subways as well. World of Subways 1, 2, 3 and 4. Which is a very well-known series. Is there a Goat Sim? There is Goat Sim 3, which was released a few months back on uh, on console. And yeah, we can't take a break because it won't work. Well, there's some sort of monument over there to the right. Something over there. Flight Simulator. What about Flight Sim? Well, we don't play Flight Sim on uh, console. But it is on console. There's the Belgian police. Yes, it's not too quick along this bit, is it? It's only a short gap to the next city. Is this game good for a new bat simulator games? Uh, I mean, it's quite basic. I mean, there's an arcade mode on it, so yeah. You'd be able to get along with this, alright. Yeah, I wouldn't say Fan Bus is really much of a learning curve. <laughs> it's just drive from bus stop to bus stop. And it has, uh, as I said, there's sort of an arcade mode to it as well. So, oh, Oscar, we're going. To, I swear, if we get a police check a bit further up, we'll know why. You and your bloody jesters out the window. Is your truck coming to console? Don't know. 38 kilometres, so we'll probably be coming into it soon. Some sort of buildings here, and this is a tunnel. Which I think it is a tunnel. And I suppose we'll then be into Antwerp. See, that was quite a bit. Of, there was a bit of pop in there of those signs. There. So yeah, there are issues with it. Um, but so hopefully they will be ironed out. we play it the more we're coming across these issues but I hope there'll be a patch out soon there hasn't been any crashing though like game crashing and blue screens so that's good that's always a good start Yeah, and they have uh, tons of scanning of video. That is true. Where on earth are we going? Some of the junctions here, oh, there's a cow's in there. Some of the junctions are mad here. Where now? 
Are we going right back around on ourselves? I think we are. Like a massive ring. How peculiar. These junctions. One was like spaghetti junction, that one just took us in tons of circles. Right. And to whoopin. That's where we're going. Where's it want us in that lane on the left? Okay, we'll come across to there. It's not gonna be like an inside slip road, is it? Or it is? Oh, what on earth? Okay, we're going we're going this way. Right. What way now? Yeah, we're in a sort of a more of a commuter type coach today. As we're stopping at all of the cities on the way to Amsterdam. So we're more of a we're a stopping service. So no no kitchen, I don't think there's even a toilet on here. So there's not really a lot of uh, of amenities on, on, on here. I wonder what the bus station will look like here. I can see a massive train station over there. I'm guessing that's a train station. So I'm guessing that's where the stop will be. Yeah, that's true. Right there. Anyway. So yeah, on our way up to Amsterdam. So we've got Rotterdam after this, and then Amsterdam. Cool. If, when, there'll be an update for Firm Bus Xbox Series F, yeah, hopefully soon. <laughs> You're gonna drive my train in the station to screw the bus. Lovely. Right, let's stay in this lane for now. We'll have to pull over soon. Probably want to get in the other lane now. No, no, okay, not just yet. We're following this along for a bit. Can't at the moment. We've got another truck there at the moment. Come on, out the way. Round we go. That bit isn't here. I know, Chris, yeah. Going all over the place. Oh, did it? Uh, I'm, guessing that, I'm guessing we are going to that big train station. Or well, at least it looked like a train station. Let's come into there. That'll probably go red by the time we get there. Come on, get through it, get through it. Yeah, it's just in time. Probably won't get through this one, though. But the stop's right there. Oh, we can do it. There we go. What's it going to be like? I think it's just yeah, it's just sort of a generic, well, generic-ish bus stop. Oh no, it's in front of the station. Okay, probably is the real, real-looking one then. Not as grand as the other one though. Try and get close to the curve. That'll do. Not on the curve. Oh, no, I think we are on the curve. I don't think we are. Um, let's get that down. Uh, Get that on. And here we are. This is uh, I mean, we're a little bit close, just a little bit. I probably didn't actually need to kneel it down, but that's fine for now. Can you fail the objective for speed and I'll crash in? Uh, don't think so. No. Well, you you get less XP though. Uh, better be free. It won't be free. It's going to be paid for. Uh, let's see. Alexia. I'll just do express check-in. There you go. That will do, yeah. Uh, Cena. Yes. You. Leonora. You. Hang on. Yeah, you're getting on. Express check-in. Couple of them over here. Murray. Yeah, you're getting on. So got, just got to hold square down to the express check-in. Yeah, there we go. Uh, who else? Who we got? Uh, you. Lena. Are the DLCs supposed to be free? No, they'll be paid for. 
Um, can we do express check-in on this one? Let's do that. Oh, you can. There we go. You have to unlock express check-in. It doesn't take long while to unlock it. Tourist bus seemed a failure for console. That was a failure. I mean, there was a few bugs in it which still haven't been fixed. But I think it did all right, I'd say. Right, let's um, let's get in. Yeah, just um, a little bit close. <laughs> it's fine. Um, right, we're due here at thirteen fifty-three. So let's speed up time. Uh, I suppose we probably could leave early, but we'll speed up time. Uh, we'll do the announcement as well, although we'll just start driving. And it'll be Rotterdam next. No, not that. Rotterdam next. Um... There. Uh, get the door shut. Uh, did the announcement. Awesome. Uh, Fortnite champion. And uh, Rotterdam is a slightly more of a distance away. Probably about 120 kilometers or so. Up to up to there. So we've got a bit more of a, a bit more of a way to go. Didn't uh, aren't going into Brussels for this one though. Right. Let's go. Uh, that's a train station. How's the game? Decent. Is there issues? Quite a few. But, sort of, not, you know, doesn't crash the game. I wouldn't say any game breaking ones. Or proper game breaking ones, game crashing bugs and stuff. So there are bugs. I mean, what is going on there with that? Uh, what is going on with that giveaway sign there? Why is it rubbing up and down the pole? That looks a bit interesting. So why is it rubbing up and down the? Oh, one just fell. Okay, that's yeah, that sort of thing there, Stephen. So yeah, there are. Why is there a sign going up and down the pole? <laughs> Do they do that in Belgium? In in. I don't know. See, so, yeah, there are issues. But not ones which sort of crash you to the menu and stuff like that. But then the, um, the patch hasn't yet released for PlayStation, whereas it has on Xbox. Oh, come on, get through that. Go on. Yes. Just about. And like that as well. Disco floor. Hello, Jackie. How are you? Jackie said to me. Probably Oscar, yeah. Yeah, Jackie, I think you said hello enough times, or high enough times. Almost to Rotterdam, which I'm guessing will be probably the same thing, sort of right next to the train station. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi 103 kilometers, if it's not bad. Out, no many of our seats are equipped with power outlets, which are so we're sort of more of a uh, like city stopper on this one. Although well, I'll probably make a route which is a, um, a quick route between Paris and Amsterdam. Sort of an express route. I'm a good Craig, I hope you're all well. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com. Get in touch with us on Facebook. On Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions. Oh, them. There you go, in front of that truck. We are always ready to there we go. Assist. And now... They are off. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy travelling with Flixbus. And after Rotterdam, it's then Amsterdam. And that'll be it. So a nice uh, free country run today. France, Belgium, and the Netherlands. And I suppose in the next one, we'll then head back into uh, Germany. <laughs> maybe, yeah, uh, Krasa, maybe. Get 89 kilometers, so we'll get there in no time. I mean, that's hardly any distance in the game. 
considering our first uh, bit between Paris and Lille was about what 300 kilometers this won't take anything 86 yeah not too sure why it is so dark in the front there gives you plenty of time to get there though I'm guessing that's probably brought us down over there. See that church over there? Maybe over there? Not sure. No, probably not. Probably a bit too close. <laughs> Very mad. Yeah, so at the moment on the console version, don't take breaks because you won't be able to confirm the check after you've um, checked uh, checked in the passengers. Don't have formula and down those slips. Maybe we are crazy. Right, yeah, maybe we are. Training for F1. not go to the police search. Hopefully we don't get a police search. We are screwed if we are. If we do. There's one of those wildlife bridges. Actually there's a deer on it up there. Lovely. Don't know why I can see AI traffic disappearing. Amsterdam. I can see some high rises in the distance, or is that some sort of big power station or industrial facility? Sounds good, Oscar. Sounds good. Right, onwards we go. So we should be going into the Netherlands soon, if we were, if we haven't already. See the signs. I can see some orange. Oh no, is that some orange signs over there? So maybe this is the border here. Maybe will the road change? What's going to happen as we come into the uh, Netherlands? Oh, does it? Oh, I can see a big blue sign coming up here. Is this Netherlands? Welcome to the Netherlands. No, not just yet. Obviously, something change. But hang on, we're coming off here. Whoa! All the AI is getting all sort of bundled up. Now that doesn't help. What's going on here? What is going on? I'm just going to slip in front of you. Hope we can come across here. Well, that was very quick. Well, we're pretty much coming into Rotterdam already. That was a very quick one there. Well, we've still got 46 kilometres. So still a bit of a way. And not every road is a motorway. There is some little roads as well. Mostly in Germany, actually, you get the little roads. So let's be in this lane. I'm guessing we're going round. Yeah, we are. Right round we go. Not letting that taxi out, no way. And then into here. There we go. So we must well and truly be in the Netherlands now. There's like a big green middle lane mark in there as well. Maybe that's a Dutch thing. Yeah, so I wonder what the bus station at Rotterdam's going to look like. I reckon it'll be outside the train station. Could be wrong though. Rotterdam, yes, yeah, from the Netherlands. There we go. Some sort of stadium over there. Well, I suppose the football team stadium. Which I'm guessing at some point we will see the football DLC or football bus DLC in the game. Uh, which really just means you can transport round. That's what it's more. It's sort of almost like a career. You sort of follow. You can um, transport the football team around. So you, uh, you'd pick Rotterdam, and then you could um, transport the Rotterdam uh, Rotterdam football team around. Well, they're saying that I think it might only be for German teams. Cool 
bridge. Is that a bridge coming out? I think it is. Lovely uh, Fortnite champion. When does the DLC come? No idea. So hopefully they get sort of the issues sorted first with the base game, then bring them out. Oh dear, Oscar. You best clean it up. I don't. I always get. I don't know if anyone else heard that little da ding. It always reminds me of. Um, yeah, we're gonna get now. It reminds me of the um, Clash of Clans. So when you first load up Clash of Clans, it goes da da ding. Um, yeah. I don't know if anyone else heard that noise just before. Probably won't get it now. Oh, nice for that champion. Really nice break. So now we've got to find where the uh, bus station is. Let's have a look. We are there. So we're not even actually in central Rotterdam yet. Still actually a bit of a way to go. We'll go over that massive bridge and then we're into there. Oh, we'll see. Oh, hello. Truck's disappeared. Why can't I move? There. Right enough, Krasa. <laughs> Blaming the driver, eh? Unbelievable. That's just what we're going over this big bridge. There we go. 27 kilometres still. So a little bit of a drive. Through the city streets. We are in Rotterdam now. And uh, more traffic lights. Great. And stop. Hopefully it won't be too long. Oh, there we go. That was good. Straight away. Come on then. Are you going? Oh, wait. You need to take a break, which you can't take breaks because it won't work at the moment. Oh, it's uh, don't see, don't look, don't look. Oh, it was yellow, right? It was, it was yellow. Oh, hello. So, oh my god, I saw a bus flip up in the air. Oh, hello. Whoa, that's quite good. We've caught that. What is going on here? The bridge is lifting. That is quite cool. We've spotted that now. Let's quickly get that on. Well, there we go, the bridge, is there going to be a boat going under? Oh yeah, there it is there, coming out. Oh hang on, is this the, um, <laughs> is that the bridge over there, which, uh, was it Jeff Bezos, he had his yacht built here, uh, but then it couldn't fit out under the bridge, is, it, is, this the, is this the one? I know that was in the Netherlands somewhere, I think it is. That bridge over there, wasn't high enough or something. Here comes the yacht coming out. That's quite cool. Didn't think we'd see that. Oh god, Oscar. Wait, when's it your birthday, Oscar? Is it today? There we go. That's quite cool seeing that. Unexpected. Is that everything? I don't want be everything. Yeah, is that going to start coming back down? Hopefully it does come down. That would be uh, annoying if it didn't come down. There is another boat coming in. It just doesn't go. Just doesn't go down then. Well, that's quite cool. As we uh, wait for this complete traffic nightmare. Uh, not really, Matthew. There's quite a lot of resistance on the wheel, so it's quite you know you've got to really turn it to do it. Oh, that's a scar. Well, that's got to be it. It worries me that it's not going down. Oh, there we go. There we go. That'd be cool. Uh, epic. Who knows? Who knows? 
Right, let's get the that off. And the bridge comes back down. That was unexpected. That was a nice little uh, surprise, that. And the barrier should go up. Is it going to go up? Or are we not moving? There we go. <laughs> and then we're off. Uh, hopefully. Oh. There you go, right. Making our way. Right, across the bridge. I wonder oh, if you can get stuck on the bridge. That would be fun. We should try that. 19 kilometres to go to Rotterdam. And after that, sent up to Amsterdam. And that's our final, uh, final port of call. We go across the big pool bridge, and yeah, we're on the PS5. Fair enough, Matthew. Fair enough. Hopefully, at some point, they'll update it. Uh, I was actually looking at the TML Discord server, and they mentioned something about not having the official tools or something. Uh, so, hopefully, well, maybe they'll get that at some point, and then they can um, fiddle bits on it. Why is everyone turning into here? Well, I'm just going to cut through here then. Hello, Lee. How are you? And they come to a stop. We've got a museum there. Why are they all disappearing? Oh, oh, I don't know that. They're all disappearing. Yeah, we'll be doing the North East Corridor after this. But not straight after, but probably get a video done first. Fair enough, Matthew. There we go. That was good. And we're going left up here. I was following it around actually. And into the uh, bus station, Boston Sprinter, we'll be doing New York Trenton. Probably in the S-Cellar. Yeah, we'll go in the S-Cellar. Yeah, it was yellow. It was yellow. Right. It was yellow. It does change very quickly, though. Yeah, it's been alright so far, Lee. Obviously, there are a few issues with it. I'm uh, not going to sort of say there's not. There is there is quite a few issues with it, which we've slowly uncovered. Um, but nothing, you know, which crashes the game and stuff. And there's wheel support. That's a bonus. I think I can see the bus station coming up. Yeah, you can use it on Boston Sprinter, the yes, seller. Uh, if you can, Arlen gets added. They need to have right-hand door buses. That's true, yeah. And then we wait. As, yeah, as we come into Rotterdam, then we come out of Rotterdam... And that's quite, well, I suppose straightforward into Amsterdam. So I'm guessing we'll have quite a nice uh, bus stand. You're the game crash on Series S. Uh, we're on the PS5. Haven't had any just yet. Don't want to jinx it though. Oh, we've got a slidey up and down sign there. What a weird glitch. I said that on the BML. God, I actually did that on um, Train Sim Classic long time ago. I think it's another train station, isn't it? Yeah, another train station stop. I think. There we go, and there should be Amsterdam unlocked. 33 and 30, oh, we're on full, uh, 34 and 44 straight after. There we are, Rotter, Rotterdam unlocked. 
There we go. Uh, let's get the uh, bus down. We are in Rotterdam, uh, AC at the moment. How you doing, AC? Oh, I always turn off the bus engine. Because when we're outside, you won't be able to hear me. Hello, F1. It's been good. Just about alive, yeah, just about. Let's get that up. So, this is a train station. Oh, what's that over there? What's this on here? That cheeky little ad there. <laughs> Fanbus, Neoplan Skyliner. Which it says DLC on there because it is on the PC version. Uh, but not on um, not on here. On here it's just included as part of it. Okay, quite a nice uh, NS stop. Right, let's see. Who's getting on? And I think once you're level 2, you unlock express check-in. Um, I I can you do it when someone's not going to the right place? I don't want to risk it. So we can't, no, you're not coming. You must be Silas. Yeah, you're getting on. Boom, hold square. Uh, you are Yijit. Yes. <laughs> We're going to Amsterdam. Express check-in. There we go. Yeah, not not a big fan of this bus. It just feels like more sort of a, almost like a commuter bus, like one of the old sort of um, step up buses. Sin <laughs> City. Uh, let's put that down. We yeah, have the Lions Intercity R62 Euro Six engine. Oh blimey, uh, F1. Right, let's see. We were due out of here at 16:05. We're a little bit early, so let's um, speed up time. I don't know if it actually makes a difference. I don't know if anyone can then get on. Let's have a look. Oh, who's that? Oh, no, that's the person we declined. Yeah. Um. Let's get that shut. Uh, I'll play the announcement as well. Which is here. Hello and herzlich willkommen by Flixbus. Enough, uh, wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam get that all. But yeah, you should wait for the announcement to play, but as we're streaming, we just get going. The passenger lights are on, but for some reason this bus is really dark. Uh, at least they should be on. They were on. Oh, hello, whoa. Well, they were on, so I don't know why they went off. Hang on. Maybe it's when we do... No. Don't I? Well, they, they went off. Hey, that's better. Uh, get that up. Get that off. Let's display on there as well. Right. And you want to do start ride. Which start ride you can't seem to actually access. So go on to check in. Then go back. And then you can now click it. So start ride. Next up is Amsterdam. Hey Fraser, how are you? Welcome in. Right. Let's go. Um, <laughs> somewhere with red lights, I see. Yeah, you'll probably have to find it there. Yeah, somewhere with red lights at night time. Right round we go. Surprised we actually haven't had any, any serious accidents on this game yet. Yeah? yeah, we need to take a break because it doesn't actually really work at the moment. So. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. There's the old older Flixbus of Rida. Before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seatbelts is compulsory. I've to head to bed, been up since 3 a.m. for an early time. Wow. How was London today? Nice smooth running on the uh, on the tube. Further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There's a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If you and we turn out, right here, no so leaving Rotterdam behind. There's the uh, rubby up and down lights there. <laughs> and let's go. If you would like to book your next journey up and down signs. Simply download our app onto your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply cool. visit and we're going right here. Or get in touch with us on Facebook. Too bloody smooth. It's a good thing, right? 
please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback. Well, action makes it fun. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas, right, and okay. requests. We are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing yeah. journey and enjoy traveling. I can't remember, you did it against Fraser. You're in the, was it mar marketing side of um, the underground? Where you get your photos and stuff. The sort of press side or the yeah, media side of it. Uh, what do you use to record your videos on PC and laptop? Uh, well, on the PC, I just use the Windows Capture from Streamlabs. Uh, although for this, I use an Elgato Capture card. <laughs> you want fun? Fair enough. Uh, does this game ha have any radio stations? Unfortunately, not, Paul. There is Flashbase FM, but you can't it you can't play it. So a bit like on Tourist Bus, I suppose, where you could see the um, announcement symbol, but you can actually use it. Hopefully at some point you can listen to the radio, as I know a lot of people do like the in-game radios. Uh, I suppose they don't have access to sort of Spotify on their consoles and stuff. So I do hope something gets added, or at least Flashbase FM uh, works. But I wouldn't put money on it though. Oh, I've got your Fraser. Management. Lovely. Streamlabs doesn't seem to work for you. In what way? There's lots of things that might not work on it. <laughs> when are we ending? Once we get to Amsterdam. And we've done our run all the way from Paris. So quite a long, uh, quite a long journey. But it's, it's been good. There aren't more UK based games like this, seems like there's non UK games. Yeah, there's not many is there in in the UK. I think it's probably just easier to do Europe though, isn't it? It's all just left hand drive. Whereas in the UK it all has to be different. That probably appeals to more people as well when it's in uh, Europe. There we go. Cool. Now let's get into the uh, slow lane. So back onto the uh, motorway just for a little, uh, little time, and then uh, and it'll be Amsterdam soon. You download it says failure to download every time. Might not have enough storage, maybe. Maybe. We're off. Just over a hundred kilometres. Now we're due there at 57 past 5, although we should get there early. Doesn't take that long. Plenty of leeway though. But what, what what's everyone's favourite city or favourite route to do so far on this game? Well yeah, what's your favourite country or cross country to... I don't know, what, what's your favourite thing on this game so far? Your favourite place, your favourite city. I still think that first drive we did, Koblenz to Frankfurt Airport, that was beautiful. Going through the uh, going through the valley, the Rhine Rhine Valley. Lots of wind farms here. Eighty-eight kilometres. Oh, nice, um, F1. Cool. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone for uh, coming in for a bit of firm bus uh, this, this evening. And then after this, we'll be over to some train sim world on the Northeast Corridor route, the new Northeast Corridor, the uh, Trenton, New York. We'll be back on that again. Of course, we will be. Probably be on that for another week or so. Uh, but it's good fun, so. Going on to get into here. <laughs> oh, put your foot down, you're barely doing 50 miles an hour. Alright. We'll pop it down, we'll stay in the fast lane for a bit. I'll cross, my, I'll cross my legs on the accelerator. Just hold it down. Let's go hope the AI doesn't brake check us like they do sometimes. 
go past our colleague in a second. Oh, I'll give him a little bit of a toot as we go past. Hello, get you in your bloody MAN Lions coach. And we're good road, quite a few well. This game would be great if you could drive from Brighton to Portsmouth. That'd be awesome. I mean, I do hope in the future there is a UK DLC for this game. Um, I that's probably a lot harder to do than other countries they could do. Like Poland and, um, you know, those sorts of places. We're almost at full speed now, I see. Almost at 100 kilometers an hour. What's that, about 70 miles an hour? No, probably less than that. I probably want to come back into the other lane. Hello Callum, uh, today, uh, tomorrow is your last day at my depot as you're moving to a depot closer to home. It saves, an half hour, it saves half an hour commute, that's good then. Good to hear. What different buses do you get at the other depot? Or is it the same ones, but just, well, same models? Yeah, it does look good, doesn't it, graphically? I mean, night time was a bit weird, because at night time on here, it was still really light. But, yeah, I mean, it's still early days, isn't it? Hopefully those things will be um, addressed and sorted. <laughs> Top speed is 60. Oh, we should be on the roads. And there is controller vibration as well. If you brake too hard, it vibrates the controller. Hello, Michael. Don't get any dodgy ideas. too far to uh, Amsterdam. I reckon Amsterdam's going to have a really nice bus station. I reckon, I reckon it's going to have a massive bus station. I also can't believe Ghent or Gent have, you say, it had like a, probably one of the biggest bus stations we've seen so far. I honestly thought it would just have a little tiny bus stop and that's it. But no, it was like a massive shelter. It's quite cool. That's where we're turning off here, aren't we, probably? So we'll stay in this lane. Yeah, they're all right. There is one thing we're missing though, and that is the uh, massive Arctics and tankers, which don't seem to be on here at the moment. Which just gives you a bit more variety in AI, which you would see on the uh, motorways. Oh, lovely. 72 plate Envara 200 and 21 plate Volvo 7900. Oh, that's the uh, electric one, isn't it? I don't think they're in the UK. We're going to Amsterdam, that's our final destination. We've driven up from Paris. And it's taken, well, by the time we get there, it'll be two hours. That sort of gives you a scale of the map and sort of journey times. I mean, if we had done a fast journey, it probably would have been, what, an hour, hour and ten minutes? You know, non-stop between Paris and Amsterdam. Um, See, so yeah, it really does give you a perspective of how big it is. Let's have a look again. Yeah, so we've gone literally just from, well, it's quite a way, Paris to Amsterdam, stopping at, what, Rotterdam, Antwerp, Ghent, and Lille. That's taken us near enough two hours. So if you don't, if you were doing a non-stop run, maybe an hour and ten minutes. Um, so just imagine going from Rostock up here, or Selin, all the way down to um, uh, Biarritz down here. That would just take forever. That would probably take three, four hours, probably more than that. The map is, it's probably one of the biggest, um, biggest maps in a video game on console. It's got to be. It's huge. Oh, I'll see, Callum. It's quite mad when you think how big the map is. We, we thought the on-the-road map was big. This game has given me virtual road rage, so dangerous to like 40 miles an hour on a motorway. We're a big bus. If we crash into something, we'll be all right. Yeah, yeah exactly. AC. I mean, quite a few people have mentioned the um, radio, which at the moment doesn't. It's not not here. Um, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully at some point they might be able to add the radio in. 
I suppose an alternative, Spotify, YouTube, have that one in the background playing some music. Although I know not, I know not everyone has access to that, especially if it's offline gaming. Hello, Garside. Well, I suppose watch this and see what you think of it, Garside. If you're looking at it and thinking, wow, that looks great, then it's probably up your street. If you're thinking, oh, that doesn't look great, I don't want to get that, then don't get it. That's a good Oscar. Probably moving in out the back window. And yes, there are quite a few issues with the game at the moment. I wouldn't say there's really anything major, major. I mean, in Paris we did have a building in the middle of the road, so that's quite a, a major thing. But, you know, no crashes to, you know, the home screen and stuff. It's a sort of minor thing, you know, those mirrors not working, disco roads in some places. So there are there are issues at the moment. But I'm hoping they'll be sorted fairly quickly. Quicker than tourist bus. Can you get fines? I don't think you can. Um, as I suppose in, in this game, unlike tourist bus, in this game you're more of sort of just driving for a company. So, you know, they pay all the bits and bobs. But um, you can lose XP if you, you know, have bad behaviour, you know, fail to check. I'll see you get outside. Well, we're probably running on um, high slash epic graphics, I'd say, on here. I don't know what they are equivalent to on PC, but it looks, well, I know my PC had it on epic graphics, and it looks pretty much the same as that, so, as this is a slightly older game, I suppose it probably can run at full graphics, all right. Why have you stopped in the middle of the road? Slightly peculiar. Oh, I need to get back in that lane now. It tricked me. There we go, we've got to get into here. We'll wait at the next one. Oh, oh my god, it's getting on there. We've got, we've got a up and downy pole there. That pole was going up and down there. The cab is a little bigger and it has a DAB radio as the other ones are AM and FM. You always use the Bluetooth. Awesome. It's tourist bus next gen only. Uh, yes. Fair enough, uh, Ricky. Yeah, this is Amsterdam. Not really getting those uh, city vibes like Rotterdam. I don't know, I'll actually, no, looking down there, that looked lovely down there. Oh, okay, now, saying that, yeah, we are getting, I'm getting city vibes now. A massive railway station here. Uh, but on PS5, you get all of the map expansions included. So, I don't know, tricky one, I suppose. Really depends what you, what your personal preference. Like, I've got Train Sim World on PC, but I don't really like playing it on PC. I like playing it on the, um, on the console. Just a preference. There we go. This is a really nice little stop. Parking brake on. Lower the bus down. Do the doors. It was going up and down, AC. Sliding up and down. Yeah, that was nice, that was. Let's get the uh, that open. Yeah, that was Paris to Amsterdam, that run there. And we get here just as the sun's going down. So we started when the sun was going up. Can we jump in the river? Yes. Oh, we jumped on the boat. Can you actually go in the river? Probably not a good idea doing it, is it? You can go in the river. If you press, um, that's the first time I've done that. If you press the two, oh, hello, why are we here now? If you press the two analog sticks down, it just um, it resets the um, resets you. 
How much is it on console? 34.99. I don't know why it's moved us here. I thought it would just reset our person, but no, it hasn't. It's reset the whole thing. Quite nice, so. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be everyone. Let's log out. Actually, I'll show you what, what happens. If we log out. Uh, log out. And what we'll do is we'll make a route as well, just if you didn't see the tutorial. Uh, so you can see we did all right there. A minus 100 for resting quality, as we didn't have any breaks, because at the moment it doesn't really work. Uh, but apart from that we did alright, 97.8% sort of good behaviour on the road, speeding limits maintained 98%, that's unusual for me. Uh, hello Dan, how much flex plus have I made out of this game? That's true, I wonder how much they get per sale. And yeah, we'll make a route live, um, so we'll, let's do an express route, we're not actually going to drive it now. So express, which just simply I think put, puts X on the, uh, on, the, on the front, so we'll do X5, so 5, um, that should just be if we do that actually yeah yeah we'll, we'll try that um and that would then go paris straight up to uh maybe something at rotterdam maybe um or brussels hmm we could do that no we'll do it we'll do it direct I think to Amsterdam, straight to Amsterdam, and that's a direct route that is. Um, yes, yeah, so if we confirm that, that's that's how you make routes, and then confirm. There you go. So you've now got an express route uh, number two there, which is the uh, which is the fast one. Um, but that is going to be everyone uh, for today's. Oh, and you can actually continue. So if we made a route from here, Amsterdam, to somewhere else, you'd click continue, and then you could just well drive it and go somewhere else. Can you show the other buses? Uh, I suppose we can do that. Uh, if we just do uh, load game. Uh, no, not that. Load route. And that should then load. That's a bit weird. It hasn't loaded. Well, it, does, it doesn't like it at the moment. Okay, well, we won't do that for now. Um, actually, no, we will do that. Main menu. Let's go back to the main menu. Yeah, a little bit on Gar side, I suppose. Let's have a look at the buses again. Come on. It's loading. Doesn't take too long to load. Is the game only available on next gen? Yes. Start game. Start game. Uh, next. So these are the different buses. So you've got the Neopan Skyliner. You've got all of the different MAN variants. So we were just driving the R62. And the BB, which is apparently only available on shuttle. So I suppose if we quickly make a shuttle route. I've never actually done that before. Frankfurt to, I don't know, uh, Frankfurt, Hub Banoff, something like that. Um, that would be a shuttle route. X, uh, next. Okay, oh, we still can't. Can we not? Oh, there we go. So you can use the BB40 as well on the little shuttle route. Uh, which I might actually do next, but as a video. But I hope everyone has enjoyed it. That was um, that was some of uh, Fernbus on the console. Uh, no, that's not AC. No, but I don't think it is. Um, I know what screenshot you're thinking of. I think that was Luxembourg somewhere. I think. Um, but yeah, that is coming for me. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places: uh, Discord, PayPal, merch store. I'll be back soon and we'll be doing some uh, Trainsome World. See you all and take care. Bye guys.